Hey everyone, in this series we're going to take a look at DynamoDB and how to work with relationships in our data. In this video we're going to look at why DynamoDB is a good choice. Uh, we're going to look at some of the relationships we're going to be discussing in this series and some of the tools we're going to use. But before we go any further, some would say that 90% of the time DynamoDB is a better choice than RDS. And I actually agree with this super controversial statement. And if you're wondering, oh, man, how can anybody say that? Uh, Rick does a very good job at explaining why that might be the case and argues for it really well. Uh, so I'm going to give you a link in this description below if you want to check that argument out. Um, but from my perspective, one of the big reasons why DynamoDB is worth it uh, over RDS is because it uh, auto scales and it's super fast. And so if I don't have to think about scalability, that's like a huge plus in my mind. I would rather uh, work with something like that over RDS where um, that's not the case. So um, if it can scale very well and it's very fast, then we need to determine, well, can it do what I need it to do? Can it do CRUD operations? Uh, yep, it can do that. And can it do relationships? And a lot of people, uh, because it's a key value store, they assume that it can't do relationships. And if that was true, then no one would use it, of course. I wouldn't use it. Um, but it can do relationships, which is what this series is all about. So that's what we're going to look at. Um, so in the next video, we're going to look at um, how you can make a single relationship. So a user is going to have a profile. This can be quite simple. So we'll talk about how to model it and how to query that. In the second video, we'll talk about um, how to do a one-to-many relationship. So users have many tasks, how to model that and how to query that. In the next video, we're going to talk about this many-to-many -many relationship. So uh, a user can belong to many teams. So John can be a part of team A, B, and C, and so on. But also, team A could have John and Alice and Jim on that team. So that would be a many-to-many -many relationship. So we'll talk about that, how to model it, and how to query for that. And then in the last video, we'll talk about how a single item can have multiple owners. So a task might belong to a user, but it also might belong to a team. So those are the relationships that we'll look at in this series. In order to demonstrate these concepts, we're going to be using a few tools. So the first one is NoSQL Workbench for Amazon DynamoDB. Um, this is something you can download. It's just a really nice way to visualize your uh, database. So that's one tool we're going to use. And then we're also going to be working directly with the DynamoDB table. And we're going to be interacting with it uh, using the AWS SDK in a Node.js environment. So those are some of the tools we're going to use.